we have a question over here which says a tube of constant circular cross section it means the cross sectional area remains constant sealed at one end no air this this is the sealed end no air can leave no air can enter and it will not move contains an ideal gas trapped by a cylinder of mercury of length 0.035 meters so the length of mercury column is 0.035 meters the whole arrangement is in the earth's atmosphere the density of mercury is this so we have the length of mercury column which is 0.035 meters we have the density of mercury which is 1.36 times 10 to the power 4 kilograms per meter cube all right so we can i think we can easily find out the pressure because it is rho gh so what is rho times 9.81 times h you plug in the values and you when you do the calculations you will know that the answer to this is 4670 4670 of course pascals all right so this is the pressure due to mercury okay so good so far let's move on when the mercury is above the gas column the length of the gas column is 0 0.190 meters which means 190 millimeters okay now what they have done is they have inverted this whole apparatus all right 180 degrees shift so that the trapped gas it is now at the top and the mercury column is at the bottom initially the air pressure was from here the atmospheric pressure now the atmospheric pressure or the air is over here okay the tube is slowly rotating and the gas column is above the mercury right so 180 degrees shift the length of gas column is now 0 0.208 meters this is the length of gas column now it initially it was 0. 190 meters 190 millimeters now it is 208 millimeters the temperature of trapped gas does not change during the process determine the atmospheric pressure give a suitable unit for your answer now i want you all to please see this very carefully mercury is exerting the pressure downwards air is pressure exerting the pressure downwards whereas the trapped gas is opposing the pressure trapped gas is exerting the pressure upwards all right so for this situation we call it situation one and we call it situation two so for situation one atmospheric pressure a naught plus the pressure due to mercury it is equal to pressure of the trapped gas because gas is opposing the pressure air and mercury are exerting the pressure in the same direction gas is opposing it whereas in situation two after we inverted the whole thing mercury is exerting the pressure downwards trapped gas is exerting the pressure downwards air is opposing it all right it means pressure due to mercury plus pressure due to gas is equal to atmospheric pressure because mercury and gas they're exerting the pressure in the same direction air is opposing it but i want to make pressure of gas the subject of this so what i'll do is pressure of gas means atmospheric pressure minus pressure due to mercury I will call this my equation B and I will call this my equation A. Okay, now we all know the very famous molar gas equation, which is PV is NRT. Alright, so what do we do in this? Okay, awesome. So pressure 
becomes equal to n r t upon volume and what is volume volume is area time side n r t upon area time side all right this is pressure of a gas we know this so let's plug this back what is happening okay so let's plug this over here pressure of a gas is nrt upon area times height which is equal to atmospheric pressure minus pressure due to mercury similarly atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to mercury is nrt upon area times height now have a look because the container is trapped it is a trapped gas number of moles will remain same and of course molar gas constant remains the same temperature also remains the same because it is mentioned in the question that there is no temperature change cross sectional area remains the same the only thing which is changing is the height of column other than height everything that is highlighted in here so that is why i can write this whole thing as p not plus pm is equal to constant upon height similarly constant upon height is p not minus pm i will call this equation c and i will call this equation d now if i try to rewrite this and make constants the subject what i'll do is h times p not plus h times p m i need to erase this okay h times p m is constant similarly constant over here is equal to h times p not minus h times p m okay so let's equate these two equations together but before that we need to plug in the values of heights so what is the value of height for the first situation it was 190 mm so 190 mm p not plus 190 mm pm is equal to the height after inversion was 208 so 208 mm p not minus 208 mm pm this is the equation that we get let's put p nots on the same side and pms on the other side so 190 mm p not minus 208 mm p not is equal to minus 208 mm pm minus 190 mm pm right okay all good so far so let's try to do the simple maths 190 minus 208 Uh, wait a second. Yeah, so minus eighteen p not is equal to minus three ninety eight millimeters of pm. Let's get rid of these negative signs. So p not will be equal to three ninety eight upon 18 pm remember pm is what we have already calculated this was pm 4670 pascals so let's try to figure out what it is 398 upon 18 times what was it 4670 i guess yeah so 4670 
seven zero pascals and when you do the maths you will get the answer as 398 upon 18 times 4670 as 103258.8 pascals which is approximately equal to 1.03 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 pascals. There you go.